Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Watercolour Wiz. In this episode we're going to paint this lovely little goldfish. Okay, so I've got my colour image there and my grayscale image there. The colours we're going to use are cadmium orange hue and in Danathrone blue. If you haven't got those exact colours you can use any middle any mid orange and any sort of navy blue okay and anyway whatever colors you've got as long as you've got an orange and a blue just have a try so let's get on with our tutorial okay so the first thing I'm going to do is wet the entire inside of the fish with clear water so we're going to wet everything the fins the tails the lot okay so I'm going to go off camera while I do that and I want you to do the same thing too. Are you still wetting your fish? I am. It takes quite a while to do it, doesn't it? And if you want to do it accurately and you've got to stay in the lines, then it's worth just going slowly, you know, and turning your image around to suit how you put the water on. Make sure that water goes into the paper. And you might find that by the time you've got to the tail, the head might re ne might need re-wetting again. And that's fine. That's what you need to do. Being good with wetting the paper will really help you get lovely soft blur and flow with watercolour when we put the washes on. So don't hurry this. This is the main thing with watercolour. This is what you've got to get right, okay? So let's see if I missed anything. I'm just going to zoom out and see if you can see in the shine. See the shine on the fish there? I think I've missed a few little areas. See, these bottom fins haven't got much shine compared to these ones. This one's got a puddle on it, so I'm going to suck that puddle up and drag it back in and share it out. I'm going to re-wet any area that's lost its shine. When it loses its, its shine, you don't want to paint on that because it's what we call damp. And if you drop paint into damp paper and the paint you drop in is run is wetter than the damp paper, which it probably always is, then you'll get what we call a back run <coughs> or an ugly <coughs> cauliflower or a cabbage. That's, those are the things that we call them. And most of the time you don't want to get that happening. So this is good practice if you're a beginner on wetting the inside of one small object, one small subject like a goldfish, see see the shine now? <clears throat> this is where you'll sort of get ahead quicker if you than other people if you just focus on good wetting of the paper. So I do I do fuss with this because I like to give myself lots of painting time. And when I wet the paper, it gives me more time. I haven't got to rush then because the paper stays moist and we can lift out errors and we can let the paint flow. Right. There. See that shine now all over? That's what we want. Okay. No puddles and no dampness. Shine all over. Right. I'm going to move to a slightly smaller brush now. Say about uh, size four. And as I'm looking at my image, basically, he's mostly orange in there. And then he goes a bit sort of greyish and paler orange, doesn't he? So uh, what we'll do is we'll, I've moistened my brush and I'm flicking it on the side of my jug like that. So there's not a ton of water in there. I'm going to pick up some orange. Just going to mix that through. And now let's get some orange on. A bit more stronger orange in the middle. And I'm looking at my grey my grayscale image and seeing that the strongest area 
is this sort of darker grey and then it's almost black isn't it and that top fin is, is quite dark as well isn't it so let's get that on okay and this this is quite a dark area here take that down and the tips the tips of these little fins are darker here And then there's some, I'm going to drag the, sort of fin, uh, the lines in the fin to give it a bit of, you know, directional, some directional strokes. pick up some more colour and then a few little directional strokes but I'm not not covering all the white of the paper here because these fins are quite pale aren't they okay I need a bit more dark here because this stays dark as it goes up into that tail and over into there okay Right, so we've got some basic colour on now, alright? So at this stage, I'm just going to let everything dry. Probably take about half an hour, or you can do a, a very sort of gentle dry on the back of it. Just hair dry it on the back very gently. But natural drying time is best. So I'll see you when your fish is bone dry. Okay, the fish is bone dry now. And I'm ready to wet all the inside of the fish. The main body of the fish because now I want to drop in some stronger orange with a little bit of blue in it in order to give us that sort of belly the feel of that sort of ovoid shape with a, with a bump in it so I'm wetting down just sort of where the tail and body separate so I've moistened that all evenly Now let's pick up some more of the cadmium orange here and a tiny, tiny little bit, that's a bit too much actually, tiny bit of indanthrone blue in there, that's darkened it off nicely isn't it? And I'm looking at my grayscale image, by the way if you want this grayscale image, the re reference and the outline and other information about this tutorial then you can become a patron for as little as £2.50 a month and for that you'll get every other watercolour as I've ever done plus you'll get about 35 full length tutorials on a range of subjects going back to last August, August 2020 so it's a really good package to have if you want it so there's a bit of a um, sort of slew of colour there to start to give the fish a little bit more body I'm rinsing my little brush and flicking it on the side of my jug and I'm just going to coax it up a little bit more so that transition from the dark orangey colour to the top of the fish is a bit more gradual there now, okay? So we've got a bit, more, a bit more strength in the body of the fish. Let's just add a little bit more, perhaps a bit more orange again and drop some more in there. Notice I'm not taking this dark shadow right to the base of the fish because there'll be a little bit of ambient light bounce bouncing up from the ocean floor or the, or the, or the whatever he's in, a pool or whatever. Okay, so I've got that there now. Right, now the top fin is a lot darker so I'm just going to put some more of this sort of orange dulled a little bit with... Um, the Indian throne blue and just have some sort of stripes there. Because this fin is much darker than the rest of his body. I'm rinsing my brush again. Flicking it and then just 
brushing up to soften some of those lines I've just put in. Rinse my brush again, flicking it. And I'm just going to take an arc across there and touch into the base of that fin and it will just bed it in very slightly. And then I'm going to press into the tip of that fin and just take some colour out just for a bit of variation there. And then I'm going to pick up a tiny little bit of the blue. Just drop that in from the tip there. Right, for the rest of the tail now, let's, let's wet the rest of the tail. Wet all that tail there. I want to make sure that they've still got some pale parts in the tail and some dark parts in the tail. So let's go for a little bit more orange. And there's some hot sort of orange patches there. If you look at your reference photo, some sort of patches of orange. Sort of little markings and some down there a little bit. So the tail has got a little bit interest in it. And then we'll go for some more orange. It's not very not very runny is it? You can tell. It's not a very runny so it's orange with a tiny tiny speck. So small of indanthrone blue. And that's sort of darker around here. So I'm brushing inwards and sort of flicking movements to, uh, to follow the shape of the the sort of structure of the ta tail. Again, if I'm not following my Grayscale exactly, it's not the end of the world, you know, you haven't got to be a slave to it. Rinse my brush, flick my brush, and I'm just going to glide some clear water over those markings I've just made. And just go slowly, and that gives them chance to just dissolve a little bit. Just dissolve and bed them into the colour underneath a little bit more softly. Right, I'm going to go for a little bit of just the, the blue now, okay, in this uh, fin here. And this fin. Drop some more of that blue in the top, that fit, and some in the dark there. And I'm going to leave some thin streaks in this fin of the pale orange that's underneath. And a very um, palish blue wash and again leave some streaks rinse my brush, flick my brush and then just waft that over there and just soften it a bit Right, I'm just going to take some of this blue, a bit more blue, and come up under the fish's chin, a bit more blue again. A 
a little bit there as well. Rinse my brush, flick my brush, and then soften that blue up into the general orangeness of the fish. Right. I'm just going to add some more orange now. With a t There's a tiny little bit of potential. Uh, sorry, Indon Strong Blue in there again as well. And I'm going to drop this extra strong bit here. And stronger again. There. And under the chin. Use my brush, flick my brush, and just let that blend up. I'm, I'm letting all the hairs of my brush touch and just scumbling it just to blend it. Rinse, flick, flick on the side, and then soften that orange down to the underbelly of the fish. Right, I'm going to pick up some more of that colour orange and have some more stronger patches and some more directional strokes to evoke that swooshing tail of the goldfish car, car. I don't know what this is, if it's a goldfish or carp somebody can correct me if I'm wrong a few little marks there as well and a couple There. Uh, there. So this little fin is sticking out and coming forward. So we paint that in. A bit of gills there. Right, I'm adding a bit more blue now to make the Very fine, doing some very fine lines down in there now. Rinse my brush, flick my brush, because that's a bit too dark, isn't it? So glide some water over that. And soften it in a bit. Right, around the fish's eye now, I need to... No, I'm going to leave the fish's eye surrounding that pale orange, and I'm going to pick up... Oops, <laughs> nearly, nearly got, went on top of the fish. Um, some of that dark blue. Let me just get rid of that quickly. Good job that didn't land on the fish's body, eh? Hey? <laughs> if I had one of those magic erasers now those watercolour magic erasers you can get. I should get one of those because that would be the perfect use for it. So let's go now and zoom in. So in the middle of the fish. You can use a very, very small amount of that sort of greyed orangey colour there. Just sort of put a little mark in. around the eye.
take some of that strength out of the ice, a bit too strong. Soften them up a bit. And I'm going to pick up some more orange because I feel overall his head is a lot more, a lot more orange. So let's get some more orange back on. Redo that little shoulder there in stronger orange, cadmium orange hue. That goes around there. So, so that anchors that little fin at the front like that. Now I'm rinsing my brush and flicking it, and now I'm going to blend all of that strong orange away over the goldfish's body because the top I still want to be. Um, Taylor. <clears throat> right, his eye is bleeding a little bit now, so I need to just take a tiny dry, this is a dry brush now, and wipe away around that eye. And I think I'm going to call him done. So I hope you've enjoyed that watercolour whiz. I'm just going to push it further now over the edge because I just want to show you, you know, uh, that you can try and push it further. I'm going to mix some more blue with that strong, uh, blue with that neat uh, orange. So that's a stronger. Let's go for much stronger. I just feel like I want to. Um, and if it, if you don't mind, I'm going to turn the fish this way because I like to work this way to see. Yeah, that's it. Put some real strength into it now. Some real contrast. Actually, I'm going to lose that fin under there. Yeah, around his head is a lot darker. See, this is where your grayscale comes in handy because see how much darker it is around the head? And my, my fish was not, you know, did not have that amount of darkness there. So that's good. Helps you see where you're going wrong, okay? Just pinching some of that darker colour to put it in the front here. And I'm just going to scumble out that dark colour and scumble it there as well. Rinse my brush, flick my brush, and then touch in here and blend this up. Blend that down. few strokes, a few lines. Rinse and flick again and soften this hard line along the belly of the fish. I think I'm going to go one last step further. I'm going to add some indanthrone blue to that orange and I'm going to really push this tail behind. Add some. There. 
Right now, finally, I want to go back in the eye and add a touch more strength into the eye. And then an outer rim. And a bit of a rim there. That doesn't look so good, does it? So let's press that one off. off. Right, so I'm just going to soften those down a bit. Soften that up a little bit. Soften that up and make it melt and soften some of those dark marks that I put in the top fin. Just let them melt as well. I'm getting a hard edge here, you see. So I'm rinsing my brush and again flicking it and softening it again because the tide mark has crept in while I've been working in other areas and I don't want that. I want that to be rounded. One last splodge of orange. Let that bleed. And you know what? Let's have a few more. Um, I'm seeing there's some patches of hot orange in the fish's tail. Just a bit of interest. In places. Give it a bit of. That's a bit ragged now, isn't it? So let's. Don't think I've had another little bit of orange splosh in there. our little goldfish. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Let's just tie that into that fin. That was a bit disconnected. If you've enjoyed it, please would you like the uh, video? If you'd like to follow me, subscribe to me, then please click the re red rectangle and cl click the grey bell so that you get alerts. And as I say, have a look at Patreon if you want to join our Watercolour Club, you get prompts and lovely tutorials with all the support reference images you need. And it keeps you ticking over with watercolour with different themes every month that you get to vote on as well. OK, so and also there's the playlist for all the other 11 watercolour whizzes that we've done so far. And um, hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Just a few more touches. Sorry, I'm using my thirsty brush to lift out some very clean white lines which go back to the white of the paper. Then I see that on the top of the tail there, where it goes from the body to the tail, that it is actually paler than I've left it, so I'm correcting that with my lovely thirsty brush. This is a bit paler as well. Right. I 
Maybe I'm going to stop now. And there's our little goldfish. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.